Welcome back. We are Two Finger Spirits. I am Brandon. We got the camera shy camera guy. Back here. We got the live studio audience. She decided to sit out of this one. But I took her phone away. So yeah, you took her phone away, so now she's going to pay attention <laughs> at least. So why don't you tell them what we're doing here? So we wanted to really put up this rare breed against the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel crew. We've been playing on it for a while. It's funny because ADHD released it yesterday or yes. like the day before. And my buddy K. Smitty had just given me this rare breed and he said, hey, this would be a good one to put up against the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. And I said, K. Smitty, you want it? You got it. So here we are. And we were going to put him up blind, but it's not worth it because that as you would difference. blatantly tell in this, you know, if you went to color school like me, you could tell that one is a mahogany and the other one is a burnt auburn. Like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, a burnt umber, a 1.8. Umber. Umber. So, but you could, you from can see angle, it. they look very similar in color. All right, well, from the camera angle, they're actually blatantly different. Blatantly. Clearly burnt umber. But let me go over some and vital clearly stats. Clearly mahogany. The distillery, <laughs> rare breed is from Wild Turkey. Jack Daniels is guests from who? Brown well, that's the company, but they're still use Jack Daniels. Oh. Uh, mash bill, <laughs> rare breed is 75% corn. Oh my God. Where Jack Daniels is 80% corn. Rare breed is 13% rye, where Jack Daniels is 12. And rare breed is 12% malted barley, where Jack Daniels is eight. All right. So you like how I didn't do one mash bill and then the next mash bill? I did that was kind of grain cool. for yeah. grain. That so you awful. can whoosh, huh? totally. solidify it in your brain. It's solid. For the grain. I'm going right to the nose. I gotta be Before you go like, insane. I'm, I'm just smelling. You keep talking. No age statements. Mm. Proof. Rare breed is down at 116.8. <laughs> Jack, this Jack Daniels is uh, 127.5. We did just hear that one of our local stores has one down low around like 116-ish, huh? 114. We, 114? Wow. I've never seen one that low. I wonder what it's like. That would have been worth picking up so you could have did it for the video. Sorry. Of this out knowing. So great, great job, camera shy, camera guy. Price, rare breed is around 50. Single barrel is around 65. In both of these, oh, Henry wants to come hang out. In both of these bottles are some of our absolute favorites. So, you know, I really enjoy the single barrel barrel proof. I also really enjoy the rare breed. Yeah, they're both fantastic. So this is gonna be fun. Should we get to the nose? I'm on the nose. Mm. Mm. Really corn heavy. Ethanol heavy, obviously. Like nice, dry, dry, dry oak. On which one? Well, I think it's the rare breed. The right one. That's the rare breed. Yeah. Your right one. My right one. It's rare breed. This are Yeah, you're right. Mm. I'm always right. I get a lot of uh, malted barley on the, the rare breed. Do you really? <laughs> I get a lot of corn, dry oak. Mmm. Mm. It smells delightful. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. Well, I got peach right on the right on the swallow. I got a little peach. Hmm. I get I get the newspaper. You know that? Once, oh, yeah. you, once yeah. you taste it, I feel like it comes along with like a little bit of the barley. But like I feel like once you taste it, you can't untaste it. Yeah. So you pick it up. Sometimes I think of it as newspaper. Sometimes yeah. old phone book. Yeah. yeah. I lick those all the time. But I get to, <laughs> I get to, like dark dried fruit. Mm. Although I do get a hint of cinnamon on the finish. I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. I get a hint of cinnamon. Not I. Oh, now I do. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There it is. There it is. Yeah, hit the cinnamon on the finish. Power of suggestion. No, it's not power. It's there. Really? It's a longer finish. Yeah, I get like candy shell on the finish. Like what I would think the candy shell of a uh, M and M's or a mm. Skittle would be that hard candy shell. Mm. But I have to say, like, even though cinnamon isn't one of my favorite f flavor profiles at all, it's enjoyable on the rare breed. Everything about the rare breed is enjoyable. Yeah, that's a solid fifty dollars one. It, 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 you can't go wrong. Right, I'm going on to you know the fan favorite here. Oh God! Mm, it's got that that brown form and smell. Yeah, really it's does. So good. Nutty, mm. banana, yep. 
cherry. It's sweet. It's it's syrupy. See where that's a little bit rougher around the edges. This is like refined and. I feel like the yes, I agree. It's like you're taking that refining yeah. it, and I'm not. I don't get the a dominant um, malted barley on this one. No, this is like I'm uptown now. Hmm. I'm downtown drinking. I'm um, uptown. All right. Oh yeah. All right. Pinky's up. I'm going for it. Mm. You just can't beat this. It, this is so good. The mouthfeel is silky smooth. Turns your tongue into an eraser. You got that nice, that nice 125 burn. What is this? Is what? What did we say? Was it 128? This one. Yeah, and I don't find it burning any more than this one. Actually. No, but it's like that nice, like you're, I'm yeah. drinking a whiskey. Oh yeah, here. yeah. Kind of grabs you and says, "Here I am. Take me." Yeah. Right? Drink me. You got it. Feed me. Yeah. I think it's my favorite whiskey. I want to get to the finish. Hold on. I don't get any banana on it, which I get banana on a lot of the I don't get on the, the palate or, or on the finish. I don't no. get it on any of it. I usually get banana on a lot of the... Uh, I'm getting like this stuff. nice caramel on the finish. Yeah, yeah. Hint of oak, not over oaky. Mm. Everything about this is just... I don't. I can't believe that more people don't agree that this is like... Well, that I think there's so, a consensus that I know, it is. You, you, you know, what if you put this up against like the, you know, the Pappy Van Winkles and like uh, all those people, those uh, bottles are impossible to find. You know, I, I know Blanton's is a lower proof, but like people go crazy Ugh. trying to, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad whiskey. But it's, it, it's entry level. It's entry level. But I'm telling you, like for this? $65, I would take this any day. Right. And people in the know know. But people that are kind of on the outskirts are like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's old number seven or high approval. But it's not. It, but that's what I thought. Right. This is quality whiskey. Yeah. This is really, really a craft. And it's a bargain. Because, uh, like, where are you going to get well, a whiskey this good at $65? let's not go shouting that from the hilltops. We don't need anybody raising prices. Well, it, it's... That would be messed up. It's okay. I'll, I'll pay the 65 for it. Yeah. But let's not... Uh, because Brown and Foreman, they're probably watching the video. And oh, yeah. oh, those suckers will pay more. <laughs> right? She's shaking her head. Yeah. You, you might have heard it rattling. <laughs> I agree. Oh, she agrees. She concurs. Uh, anything else you want to add about any of these? I, you know what? I they're both keep, fine whiskeys, right? I would right? keep both in stock. I would keep both in stock for sure. Yep. Yeah, they're really, really both enjoyable. Um, probably a little bit un unfair comparison, maybe. No, I wouldn't say that it's an unfair comparison. They're both really good. They're both, you know, barrel-proof type whiskeys that are from, they're readily available for the most part. Yeah, yeah. There's Jack's been hard to find. The, the single lately. barrel barrel-proof's been a little bit hard to find lately. You know, it might have been more fair to put this up against the Jack Daniels Bonded, that new Bonded, or against the Russell's Reserve that's around uh, you drink 100, it all. 110. All right, well, we have to get more. Anyway, so what do you think? Uh, the Jack Daniels is the winner, but, you know, I love the uh, rare breed. Totally. How about a quote? Yes. In the clearing stands a boxer, a fighter by his trade. He carries the reminder of every glove that laid him down and cut him till he cried out. In his anger and his shame, I am leaving, I am leaving. But the fighter still remains. That's how I feel at the end of every single work day. You know who that is? No. Our buddy Paul Simon. Oh, I love that guy. Fantastic. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We love you. Come back next time. Like and subscribe. Cheers, everybody.